Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the HTTP protocol. So before learning further going into the Ajax and all those things, so we need to have a understanding about the HTTP protocol. So let's try to learn about this HTTP protocol. So first of all, we need to know about a protocol. So what is a protocol? Protocol is just a set of rules. So a set of rules, we call it as a protocol. We can say also say it as a set of rules also. So that is the meaning of a protocol. HTTP is just one type of protocol. So in that HTTP is a one type of protocol. So that means HTTP is really just a set of rules for communication between a web server, sorry, web browser and a server. So that means HTTP is generally, it is a set of rules for setting the communication. So if you want to have a communication between a web browser and a server, so HTTP is the set of rules. So these are the set, these are the set of rules for the communication. So that is the meaning of the HTTP protocol. So we have dissected this HTTP protocol and we have understood about a protocol and also HTTP. HTTP is a one type of protocol which is generally used these rules for setting for communication between the web browser and a server. So that is the main thing. So that means overall what I can what I can say is HTTP protocol is just rules that browser and server needs to follow when they talk to each other. So when the browser and the server are talking to each other, these are the rules that need to follow. Those rules are called as an HTTP protocol. HTTP protocol is the fundamental to the functioning of the internet. So when, once, uh, so if you come, come about this internet, HTTP protocol is the fundamental to the functioning of this internet. Because it is used to fetch web pages and other resources. So this HTTP protocol is used to fetch the web pages. Fetch the web pages means HTML web pages and also other resources. Other resources means like images, JPG, CSS, JS files. These all comes under the other resources. For an instance, when you are trying to send a message via HTTP, it is called a request. So normally when you are trying to send a message or otherwise when you are trying to send a data or anything, via HTTP means it is called a request. So this is, these are the technical terms when it comes, when, in, when you consider the HTTP protocols. So when you are trying to send a message, normally via HTTP, it is called as a request. In the same scenario, when you are getting something back from the server via HTTP, it is called as a response. So these are the two technical terms which you are, which you need to understand it. So request and a response. Request means when you are trying to send a message to the server, and if you are getting any something data back from the server means then it is called a response. So browsers get the HTML of web pages by sending a request to specific location in the internet. So overall combinedly if, you, if I want to tell you is, so that means the browsers get the HTML of web pages. So that means it will get the HTML web pages by sending a request here, by sending a message or request to a specific location. So we need to know the location also to which location we are we need to send the request so we need to send the we need to know the specific location in the internet when the browser receives the data as a response they render the data to the page so when the browser receives the response the data as a response they render the data to the page one important thing you need to understand is whenever you send http request you need to attach data to this request sometimes we'll attach whenever means so all the time we will not attach the data to that request so normally what i can say is one important thing you can understand is often when you are trying to make a http request okay you need to attach the data to that request that means you need to some some you need to send some data to the server so you need to tell something right like a message so how we can send this message how we can send the data there are two places where data can be placed when sending an http request so the, here they are telling that there are two places in the in the in the two places we can send the data we can place the data and we can send it as a request HTTP request. Those two places are so this, normally the HTTP request is made up of two things that is HTTP header and the HTTP body. So in these two places we can place the data and we can send it in the HTTP header also we can place the data or in the HTTP body also we can place the data. Which one to use in order to send the data? So now you may be getting a doubt that so which one I need to use. So you are telling me that I can place the data in either in the HTTP header or in the HTTP body you are saying. So which one we need to use. So is there any specific scenarios that we need to use a specific type 
specific place only we need to send the data like that means yes we have some specific thing which one to use in order to send the data means typically we use HTTP header to send data for the get request so you may be getting a doubt about this get request and all those things as you people were aware about this one so we are having normally two types of HTTP requests that is get request and also a post request okay normally in the get request when you want to send the data we typically we use HTTP header you know, to send the data we use HTTP body to put the data while sending the HTTP post request so this HTTP post request when you are trying to make a post request to the server then we use HTTP body to put the data so that is a two difference between this one so what is the main difference between the get and post is get means so directly we are sending the data uh, we are sending it to the uh, server so the get request will not manipulate the data in the server just it fetches the data from the server so that's it whereas HTTP post request means we are trying to manipulate some data in the server so that is the reason we set a post request so post request normally we use uh, like username and password these type of things we use it the post request normally the get request means so when, whenever you want to get the data back from the server and all those things we use the get request so that is the main thing but the distinguished feature of a post request is that the length is unlimited and the oh sorry the distinguished feature so the distinguished feature means the main feature of uh, the diff the main feature of the post request is that the, its length is unlimited the data whatever the data you want to add it so you can add it the length is unlimited and the data will be sent in the body of the HTTP request or in cookie. So you can send it in the body of HTTP request or in cookie. In order to make an HTTP request, you need to have an URI. So this is also one of the important thing. So for example, if you want to make an HTTP request, you need to have an URI. URI means uniform resource locator. So this is an address. So we will try to learn about this URI thing in the next video. So in order to make HTTP request, HTTP request means so to where you will make an HTTP request. So something you need to have an address, right? When you are trying to, to send a message to your friend or anything, we need to have a message uh, address, address of that your friend so that we can send a letter to the friends. So in the same scenario, when you are trying to make a request to the server means we need to know the address of the server. So that address of the server is nothing but the URI, uniform resource indicator or uniform resource locator, we'll say URL, we'll say. So that is the address. So we'll try to learn more about this uh, URI thing. So this one also is one of the important thing we, before proceeding to the Ajax thing. So now what we have did, so we have learned about the HTTP protocol. So the a brief overview of this HTTP protocol. So I don't want to go too deep into this one as this course is not intended for the H, uh, HTTP protocol. So now what I want, what I am trying to tell, HTTP protocol is made up of two things. One is HTTP header and the HTTP body. So you can send the data in the two places. So typically you will send the data in the HTTP header using the get request and we will send the data in the HTTP body using the HTTP post request. So you will try to see, we will see lots of tons of tons of examples in this one. Uh, what about the, what, uh, what, uh, what is the post request? How we can send the get request in the Ajax? We will see about these all things. So this is all about the HTTP protocol. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.